we've actually stepped off of the trade show floor. We're in the foyer space, standing in a resilience space that is focused on allowing teammates to be able to escape the hustle and bustle of the trade show floor, be able to sort of find a place where they may belong, be able to reset before re-entering the space and being their best self. When designing the space, naturally, whenever we're in a hotel environment, the lighting, the carpeting, the walls, everything is just really high stimuli. And so the goal when I was putting this space together was to neutralize everything, little areas where people could sort of step away. So you'll see the foliage island area where people can take in their natural green environment, sit on an ottoman and put up their feet, or they may even go to the elevated space where we actually have a stage deck that's built up so guests can sort of almost lift themselves literally right out of the space that they're in, and then even capture the feeling of natural light that we've done with sort of a, a softer, warmer lighting feature behind that area so it feels as though the sun is almost coming in behind them. As humans, we all have sensory needs that we meet throughout the day. Oftentimes, we do these things without realizing we are meeting a need. For example, chewing gum, tapping your foot, working out, listening to music, or avoiding social settings after a day at work. A resilient space supports all to be their authentic selves through an environment that supports all ways of learning and engagement, giving us time to reflect and ultimately do our best work. A lot of groups could implement this type of environment in their space, even if it's just to carve out a small area where people can go. It's just so important to just really step back and take five minutes to yourself during the day and, you know, just take a breath. As human beings, we all have our own personal daily quota of sensory needs that fluctuate daily, and events can either overwhelm or understimulate these needs. The brain and nervous system work to adjust stimuli and maintain balance, but fast-paced environments can disrupt this process. At Hello, our design team partners with neuroscience medical experts to ensure every detail serves a purpose. My favorite detail has actually been the visuals. The way a room looks is really important to me and the way a room is landscaped is really important to me. The distance between pieces of furniture and the proportions of the different pieces of furniture. Nothing in that room overwhelmed the people. This is an event about people. So when you have spaces that go too big or too crazy on the artwork or it's too colorful, it takes away from the interaction. It takes away from the potential to be intimate, and this is a space where you want a positive intimacy so that people can be their most authentic selves. I think definitely there should be more spaces like this, because sometimes until we don't experience it, we don't know we need it. 